Eucalyptus Oil and Propane and Climber presents Climber Sherman Panama Wolfpack Baseball play-by-play coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Street yeah. at Channel 989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance in Panama and Jamestown, Mosier Carpeting and Climber, Land Pro Equipment and Climber and Falconer, Catfish Pallet and Wood Services in Climber, The Cornerstone Restaurant in Sherman, ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com, Triple E Manufacturing, triple e mfg.com countertop solutions and by lictus oil and propane and climber lictus oil and propane.com and now let's head to the field for all the action of csp wolfpack baseball play-by-play and good afternoon sports fans and welcome to csp baseball where your 1-0 CSP Wolfpack take on the 1-0 Brockton Bulldogs today here in Brockton, New York. And I'm joined uh, by Pat Catanese. I'm Kyle Hinsdale, and we're going to bring the game to you today. We're, uh, we're excited uh, that we're having beautiful sunshine. CSP coming off of a impressive 15-5 win against... Uh, Silver Creek on uh, on Monday, and uh, Brockton's coming off of a f- 12 to 5 win against Ellicottville on Monday. So, two undefeated teams early here in the season. And uh, Pat, any uh, thoughts on what we're gonna what we're gonna see today? Well, this is a uh, it's a windy day today, so a lot of them fly balls in the air are gonna make uh, make people work for them. Uh, I think that uh, if a CFP can come out and hit like they did in the last few innings of the game the other night, we're going to be in pretty good shape. But Brockton normally brings a pretty good ball team to the to the field every year when it comes to baseball. So I think we're going to have a pretty good game here today. Yeah, Brockton's traditionally been a strong baseball program, and um, they've got one of the nicer fields uh, that we play on. It's a it's uh, it's relatively dry. It looks dry today, and um, and again, they typically have a good, uh, good program. So, looking forward to seeing. Uh, you know, uh, last uh, Monday we had Austin White uh, start, and we saw Austin White and Tate uh, Catneys. I would imagine uh, looks like today CSP is going to uh, start Gabe Roth. Uh, I would consider Gabe our ace, and uh, see if we can get a few innings out of Gabe today. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he has a relatively uh, quick hook today knowing that Friday we've got, uh, you know, we're hosting Maple Grove. So maybe uh, get uh, get Gabe a few, uh, you know, one or two innings and, yep. and see how he goes. Uh, as Pat mentioned earlier, it is awfully windy here in Brockton, so you're going to hear that in our, um, in our microphones. But uh, hopefully uh, we've got the uh, camera working, and uh, for those of you – uh, watching us on Facebook Live, uh, we think it's a pretty pretty cool view right behind uh, right behind home plate, and uh, so you're gonna see all the action and just uh, be uh, have a heads up if the foul ball comes back at this thing, it's gonna startle you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not so. only them, but us too. I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's the truth, and you can all sit at home and and determine whether uh, the. The uh, umpires calling balls and strikes appropriately. So, um, so again, looking forward to today. This is always a good. Uh, it's always a good time to come over here to Brockton. Uh, typically, uh, good teams, as we mentioned, and um, this is a league game for uh, for both CSP and and Brockton. So, uh, looking forward to that. So, why don't we uh, take a real quick break, and when we come back, we'll have the first pitch. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. Baseball, these are the moments. 
moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United. All right, and welcome back. Here we uh, we're about ready to get things started. Dawson White's going to lead us off today. Traditional. Uh, leadoff hitter for uh, CSP over the course of the past couple of years so uh, Austin typically someone that can get on base on a on a consistent basis so uh, he's gonna lead us off and here's the first pitch of the game and that's a strike on the inside part of the plate uh, Austin down 0-1 here early And we have a ball outside, one ball, one strike here to opening batter of the game, Austin White. Well, that curveball that he just threw looked like it was a little wind aided, so that could be a, <laughs> could be a challenge today for the pitchers and the hitters. Yep. And here's a pitch with a base hit right down the left hand left field line. That's a fair ball. That's going to go to the fence, and Austin's going to come in with a stand up double to lead off this game. So nice piece of hitting by Austin White and a good start for CSP as uh, uh, Bryce Hinsdale comes to the plate for CSP with a runner in uh, scoring position uh, if you if you're close enough to the uh, to the TV, to the live stream you're gonna tell that CSP is wearing the new uniforms today um, didn't have them for the first game but uh, have them today so excited to have some new threads out there and the first pitch to Bryce is a strike right down the right down the middle so no balls one strike to Bryce no outs here in the top of the first no score with a runner lead runner on second base for CSP and there's a drive to left field pop fly it's gonna be caught by the left fielder Austin White is tagging up so fly out to left field for Bryce Hinsdale that's gonna mark the first out of the game for Brockton and you could tell uh, that uh, outfielder was uh, a little skittish underneath that ball. It was the, the ball, for those watching on TV, the wind is blowing heavily from uh, right to left. Um, so impacts those outfielders for sure. Big cut by Gabe. Next wow. up is uh, Gabe Roth, traditional number three hitter for uh, CSP. And there's a strike two for uh, on Gabe, so no balls and two strikes. Brockton ahead early here in the count. Again with Austin White uh, at second base with leadoff double. And here's a pitch outside. Low and outside, good spot. If you're Brockton, that's a good spot for that pitch. Um, one ball, two strikes. Like they're trying to hold Austin on a second, a little bit tight base. There's hit. a base hit to center field for Gabe Roth. That's going to bring in uh, Austin White to and get the first run on the board for there CSP, and that's a single hard hit single for Gabe Roth. So one nothing CSP here in the top of the first, still with only uh, one out, and that's going to bring Trent Burchanowski to the plate. Nice piece of hitting there by by Gabe. Gabe's getting a pretty good lead at first. He's going. And there he goes. He goes, and the throw down to second's going to be not in time, and that's a stand-up steal for Gabe Roth, which immediately puts a runner in scoring position for CSP. So anything out of the infield, you'd think that, uh, think that Gabe would score here. So, And there's a hit to right field. right field. Right down the line. Right down fair the line. Ball. It's a fair ball. Trent's going easily. to second. Gabe is going to score easily. Easily score Gabe and get and put Trent's Trent gonna, in third. Yep, Trent's going this, on his way to third with a stand-up triple. So good piece of hitting there by Trent for stand-up triple. That scores Gabe, and it's 2-0 here, CSP early on. Still with only one out. Tate Katniss is going to come to the plate. Batting in the fifth spot today. Yeah. 
snap. First pitch to Tate is on the outside. One ball, no strikes. There's a swing and a miss for Tate. Strike one. One ball, no strikes. One out here in the top of the first. Two-nothing CSP with a runner on third after Trent Burchanowski hits a stand-up triple. And the ball low. Yep. Two balls and one strike. And we got some uh, Trent's. Trent's got some wheels at third, so anything past ball more than likely is going to He's going to be coming home. There's a ball high and inside. Three balls and one strike to Tate. I'd like to see a bunt here, Kyle. <laughs> no, you would not. <laughs> <laughs> ball four. Ball outside. So that's a base on ball for Tate Catney's and. That puts runners at first and third for CSP with one out and brings Big Grant Lictus to the plate. Batting in that sixth spot today for CSP. What do you think of the new uniforms, Pat? I like them. Yeah, they yeah. look nice. Say Wolfpack right across the front. Oh, there's a pass ball on a ball. Ball one and... Uh, Trent stayed at third. That allowed Tate to advance to second. So CSP now has second and third with one out. Catcher hustled back quickly. In this yeah, he did. He did a nice job. Medium distance on the fence behind the home plate. So Trent probably made the right decision on that. Good and cut. Foul, yep, good cut. Foul tip. Good job by the catcher catching it. That's one ball, one strike for Grant. We get Grant hitting the ball, and he'll he'll gather some confidence. And there's a hit down the left right field line, yep. and that's going to be fair, and that's going to be score two score at least two. Yep, two runs. So Trent Burchanowski and Tate Catney's come in to score for RBI two RBI single for. Grant Lichtus, and that makes it 4 nothing. CSP here in the top of the first. Still only one out. Blake Cope to come into the play now. Blake had a good night at the home plate the other night. Yep, he did. And there, first pitch strike. If you're the Brockton pitcher, you want to just continue to throw strikes, and uh, CSP's been hitting the ball hard and hitting it to where Brockton's not, so... Um, there's ball a ball low. low. It gets by the by the catcher, and Grant's going to get to second base standing up. So pass ball, advance to second for Grant, and that puts a runner in scoring position. I believe it's one ball and one strike here to Blake. That's ball low, two balls and one strike. On the mound today for Brockton is Caden Emke. We don't have, uh, the only thing we have for a roster today for Brockton is their lineup sheet. And that's a ball high, three balls and one strike. So, But I can tell you that this kid looks young, uh, relatively young. They all do, to be honest with you. And there's a hit to left field. High fly ball. Left fielder's getting underneath it, and he drops it. He drops it. Grant's going to go to third, and Blake is going to stand up at first base. So Second. Or second base, yeah, yeah. Sorry, second base. So E7 there on the high fly ball. I'd have to think, Pat, that the wind probably played a – hand in that but uh, either way still one out here runners at second and third for CSP and that's going to bring Dylan Michael uh, to the plate yeah that left fielder he moved 
to his left, to his right, to his left, to his right. <laughs> that wind is making that ball dance up in the sky. So hopefully when Gabe throws, he keeps everything on the ground for us. Yeah, that's right. Pitch outside for ball one to Dylan. For those of you can see on the Facebook, the uh, Blake at second base is getting a massive lead. So any base hit is going to score two, more than likely score two here. And there's a hit back up right the middle the for Dylan Michael. Good try for the shortstop. He at least keeps it on the infield, but that's a base hit for Dylan Michael. He's going to score Grant Lictus, but good job by the shortstop for Brockton to keep it in the infield. That saved him a run. Uh, as uh, Blake Copta was forced to go from second to third, from second to third and stay there. So, yeah, that was a great play. Yep. He couldn't turn and throw it, but he held, like he said, he held Blake at third. So we got first and third here for CSP. That first pitch is a ball in the dirt to Caden Beckerink, who uh, had a great game on uh, on Monday with a couple couple important hits, particularly late in the game. Swinging a hot bat right at this moment, so I hope he keeps it up. There's uh, Dylan stealing second base, no down, no throw down, with a guy on third, and I believe that ball was high. So, one ball, one strike to Caden Beckering. Two ducks on the pond with a guy at second and third here in the top of the first. And there's a foul ball that hit the football press box. A little late on that one, Caden. Wasn't quite high enough for Caden. He likes those <laughs> he high pitches. Like the, he does like the high ones. Two balls and one strike, and the pitch is outside, high, high and outside to make it uh, three, three and one to Caden Beckerink. And there's contact a little short to third base, and he catches it. So that marks the second out of the inning for uh, for CSP. That was a little fly ball to uh, the third baseman who made a nice, nice catch with two hands. And that's going to bring the top of the order back up for CSP. So Austin White getting a second at bat here in the top of the first. Very similar to what we did Monday night, I think. We mm -hmm. hit hit through the lineup on Monday night in the first inning as well. Oh, that made me jump right there. Bobbing and weaving. Nice jersey, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that fence, Kyle. I might have taken that right in the brim of the hat. No balls and one strike to Austin White here. Two outs. Ooh. And that ball is caught the outside part of the plate. 0-2. Oh First at bat today, Austin hit that ball right down the left field line. Yeah, there's a swing and a miss for a strike three, so Brockton gets out of the inning after facing 10 batters for CSP. And we're going to finish the top Five. half of the first inning with CSP in the lead. Five. Nothing. We'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 989 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in mm -hmm. Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. 
Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. And welcome back to Brockton, New York, where CSP is leading 5 nothing here in the top. Of, uh, actually, it's going to be the bottom of the first, and uh, we've got a little bit of a delay in the action. I'm not exactly sure uh, what the issue is, but uh, I think Gabe might have had to do something. And... Um, so just kind of uh, set everybody from a defensive standpoint. Uh, Gabe, as we mentioned earlier, CSP's ace, uh, Gabe Roth, is going to start the game. Um, he's going to be backstopped by uh, Grant Lictus behind the plate. Uh, Bryce Hinsdale playing first base. Trent Burchanowski in his traditional second base uh, spot. Austin White is holding down short, and Tate Catneys completes the infield uh, at third base. Dylan Michael is out in left field. Blake Copta is in center. And Caden Beckrink is in right field today to start for uh, CSP. So uh, we talked a little bit about it on um, talked a little bit about it on Monday night. But uh, CSP uh, traditionally a very good defensive team and uh, was very good last year. Uh, throughout their playoff run, got to the state semifinal, had a little trouble, but, um, and outside of the first inning on um, Monday night, I thought they pitched, or they uh, played very well defensively, so it's just a good overall athletic uh, team that uh, fundamentally does a lot of things uh, really well, Pat. Yeah, and I think that uh, Gabe's looking forward to this. He hasn't hasn't pitched before the break to, and uh, he hasn't been on the mound so I think he's looking forward to this moment and his curveball really might dance with this wind so but that wind is left to uh, right to left and his curve is usually right to right to left so that might work out for him and I was not able to be there Pat and but then the in the one inning that we played against Southwestern was the Gabe start Gabe, that, Gabe game. that game so he's got at least one inning one inning under his belt but that was not a in the, that in, was not in a the night snow for baseball <laughs> that was a that was a night to ride snowmobile that yeah. night <laughs> <clears throat> all right so brockton number four aiden gatto is going to lead off and see if they can get a little uh do a little repeat of what csp did in the top half of the inning as that wind continues to blow harder, it'll blow and then it'll die down. And impacts our camera a little bit, but I think we're still in pretty good shape. So here is the first pitch to Gatto, and that's a ball outside in the, in the dirt. Good stop by uh, Grant. One ball, no strikes to Brockton's leadoff hitter. There's a ball right back up the middle. Trent's able to get to it. It's a long throw that uh, was off the mark, but good piece of hitting by uh, Gatto. Uh, that's an infield base hit. Good stop by Trent. He made a heck of a play to get that ball. Uh, essentially went over, came from his second uh second base position and it went over the bag and uh, just very difficult throw back across his body so leadoff runner for Brockton here in the bottom of the first that's going to bring the plate number 11 Ray Santiago little pickoff play at first CSP players seem to think they got him but the umpire feels differently Gabe does have a pretty good pickoff move it's very nonchalant, and they try it again. Oh, 
Oh boy. <laughs> Very close every that time. That was close again. Three three in a row and three pretty close, but they must think he's Ricky Henderson or something. <laughs> <laughs> As a ball inside to the second batter for Brockton. One ball, no strike. Bottom of the third, or bottom of the first, five nothing CSP. Oh, and I hope Brian, Brian and I would always talk about this, and I know Brian particularly doesn't like it. Uh, Brian Willink and uh, that ball's gonna that go, ball's gonna end up in right field eventually, yep. Pat. And that's a check swing foul ball for strike number one. It's just inevitable in high school. You keep throwing over to first right. base all the time. It eventually is going to get by the first baseman. <laughs> one ball, one strike. And they did get him there. They did get him. Fifth time, fifth time was the <laughs> charm, and they picked the guy off. They picked... Uh, Aiden Gatto off at first base. Good throw by by uh, Gabe and good tag by Bryce. And uh, one out here after getting that leadoff runner on. Now we can come straight on the bat. <laughs> Ball high, two balls and one strike. I'm hoping the ground screw it between innings goes out and wets down this dirt. Or we're <laughs> going to be really dusty when it's all done here tonight. Shouldn't complain about it, though. It's beautiful weather. Yep. There's, uh, a there's a ball. There's a strike right down the middle of the plate. Two balls and two strikes to Brockton's second hitter this inning. Defensively, CSP playing traditional depths. And there's a check swing foul ball. Wow. Good job by Ray Santiago to battle battle through this at bat. What are we at? Two and two, Carter? Two and two. Okay. Two and two. Ball inside and high. Three balls and two strikes. So full count here. To Santiago. And he fights it off again with a foul ball. Little half swing and staying alive though. He is staying alive. And here's the payoff pitch. Strike three on the outside part of the plate. Good pitch by Gabe. That's two outs here in the bottom of the first for CSP. That's going to bring to the plate number 23, Damian Franklin. Playing third base today for Brockton. And that's a hit to center field. Blake Copt is underneath it, and that's a fly out, deep fly out to center field for out number three. So, untraditional one, two, three inning for CSP. Five nothing after one. We'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane. We'll start and out price. Family owned, Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triple emanufacturing.com. 
Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Clymer, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Pallet and Wood Services. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball. Good job, Coach. <laughs> And we're going to start the top of the second inning here. Bryce Sinsdale, I believe, is going to lead us off. Bryce flew out to deep left field at his uh, on his first at bat. Brockton has made a pitching change. They've gone to uh, Grant Gustafson. Yeah, he relieves Caden Emke after that first first inning, and you know one of the things you like to see is you know from high school kids is you want to make you want to throw strikes, you want to make kids hit the ball, and you don't want to give a lot of walks. And um, although Emke gave up five runs, he you know none of those were because he put CSP runners on base because he walked them. He made them. He made CSP hit the ball, and you know CSP from talked about this before too from really top to bottom um, are you know pretty good hitters and uh, so there's no no relief no relief along the way for uh, any pitching staff that we're gonna that we're gonna face so and then comes through with it so nothing quick about it Catcher's got a pretty good arm throwing it down to second, so mm -hmm. we're going to have to keep an eye on that. All right, let's see if uh, Bryce can lead off this inning, get a leadoff r base runner for CSP. Again, top of the fifth, top of the second, five nothing, CSP after batting through ten batters in that first inning. That's a strike on the outside part of the plate. I no balls in one strike. I can't blame Bice for watching that one. No, I probably would not have swung at that one either. That's a curveball that curved late and uh, was on the outside part of the plate. One ball, one strike to Bryce. That ball's high and inside makes its way to the backstop here. Good hustle there by Gabe Roth. Two balls and one strike to Bryce, leadoff hitter here for CSP in the top of the second inning. And that's a ball low and inside, three balls and one strike. Yep, and that ball is on the outside part of the plate for a ball, so after Emke threw at least strikes and made hitters hit the ball in the first inning, Gustafson starts with a walk and gets CSP with a leadoff runner on the base, and that's going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate. Gabe with a, I believe, stand-up double maybe in the first they inning. He had a single. Single. Had a single, yeah. Paying attention to Bryce over there. Wouldn't be surprised to see Bryce running here at some point in time. First pitch to Gabe is a pop up to the second baseman. He's getting underneath it and that's an out. First out of the inning for Brockton. 
pop fly to second for Gabe, and that's not what he would have wanted there for sure. So that's going to bring bring Trent Burchanowski to the plate. Trent with a really nice hit down the right field line. His first at bat had a stand up triple. Checking Bryce over at first base. They've been watching Gabe too much. Everybody's thinking they got to keep that runner <laughs> tight at first base today. His move is not quite as good as quick as Gabe's. And there goes Bryce, stealing second, and he is in safe. The ball ends up getting to center field. Bryce sliding head first, so his mother's going to have to do some laundry. Center fielder made a nice play, though, backing that up, so yep. Bryce couldn't advance to third. Uh, that gets a runner in scoring position for Trent Burchanowski. And that's high and outside. Two balls and no strikes to Trent. They are not, oh, there they go. They were not holding Bryce on, but they are in a little bit now. A little bit. Token holding on there. And there's a fly a ball to fly. center, second base. And he's getting underneath it. And for the second straight out, pop up to second base. Two outs here for Brockton. Just went through probably our two biggest hitters. Got them both to pop out to second base. So after the leadoff walk, Gustafson doing a nice job. Not throwing a lot of speed, so I think these guys are trying to hit it too hard. Yep. Let the that bat brings, do the work. That brings Tate Catneys to the plate. Curveball that's in the grass and or in the dirt. Bryce wasn't sure about if he wanted to go or not. He got about halfway to third and <laughs> decided that, that was not such Almost a good idea. Almost got himself in no man's <laughs> land there for a second, but second baseman didn't come over quick enough for a catcher to throw it back, so... Bryce was lucky there. Good job by Santiago there to stop that ball, keep Bryce from advancing. And there's a hit right up the middle, right up the middle of the field. That's going to bring Bryce home, and that's going to be an RBI single for Tate Catney's making it six nothing, CSP here in the bottom of the second inning. Good piece of hitting there by Tate. He got a pitch that he liked up in the zone, and uh, drove it right back up the middle. All right, Grant. And that's going to bring Grant Lictus to the plate for CSP. He had a single in the first inning, too, yes. And Tate takes off and goes, and he's down with a stolen, he's safe with a stolen base himself. Getting dirty. His mother's going to have to do some laundry. Maybe we'll make Tate do it. <laughs> so if, we're, if that's the case, he'll be playing in those same pants Friday night. <laughs> and there's a foul tip out of, by we'll Grant Lictus. Grant down early here, 0 and 2. Base hit is going to more than likely score Tate with a lot of speed at second. And there's bat on the ball for Grant. He rolls it down to the first baseman, and he tags it for out number three, but not until CSP puts one more on the board. It's 6 nothing CSP after the top half of the first, and we'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. 
Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack from Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propene Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. And we're back here in Brockton where CSP leads the Brockton Bulldogs six to nothing after a five run first and a one run top of the second. And Gabe Roth is gonna get another inning here. So it was a one, two, three inning in the, uh, for CSP in the first inning after a uh, base hit and then a pickoff play of uh, the Brockton's leadoff hitter. So it's going to bring number 16, K. Nemke, today's starting pitcher for Brockton, to the plate. There's a ball in the dirt. For ball number one. Good hustle there by the umpire. That's swing and defensive swing there. Got that ball bad went on right the, off the handle. Yeah, got bad on the ball for a foul ball. A one ball, one strike here to Emke. Uh, that's a strike. He she went around there for sure. So that's one ball and two strikes. That was a, uh, again, a defensive swing and one that he didn't necessarily wanted to do, but. And strike three right down the middle part of the plate. That's out number one here in the bottom of the second for CSP, and that's going to bring number 24, Austin McIntyre, to the plate for Brockton. Don't all these kids look young to you, Pat? That's correct. Yes, they do. So the future is bright in Brockton, it yep. looks like. Oh, and that's a hit by pitch for Austin McIntyre. That only will hurt for a little bit. So that gets Brockton with their first base runner of the inning. And it's going to bring number 26 and Brockton's current pitcher, Grant Gustafson, to the plate. They may look young. Maybe it's just because of us. Maybe we, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it might be. And first pitch swinging for Gustafson, and that's a foul ball. On the tennis courts. And we've lost some baseballs, apparently. We've got one baseball that we're working with, I guess. Well, I mentioned the other night in Panama where we lose them in the woods, but this should be, oh, this young man's got two of them. They got to quit fighting over and get it back in the game. Now we got all kinds of people looking oh. for. There's looking three baseballs baseball. coming. Maybe not. I asked Alexa the other night while I was watching a baseball game how many 
baseball games are used in a major league game. And what was the answer to that they, question? They, there you go, Kyle. Throw oh, over to first, gets by him. Throw over to first, and that got by Bryce, which is what you always worry about. But the answer to that was between 100 and 120. Well, every time the ball hits the dirt, it gets thrown out. Yep, yep. And there's another pop-up. I think it's that right behind us. Going to go foul out onto the football field. So no balls and two strikes here to Gustafson. Six nothing CSP here in the bottom of the second inning. Big curveball. Big curveball there by Gabe in for a strike three. So that's going to make it two strikeouts this inning for Gabe. And that's going to bring the number seven hitter, number nine in your program, Nate Laredo, to the plate. Ball low there to start off Laredo. And it's one ball, no strikes. We'll see how aggressive Brockton wants to be here with the uh, base runner at first, trying to get somebody into scoring position. That ball's low, good stop by Grant behind the plate. Two balls and no strikes. This game's going a little bit quicker than uh, and Monday And it's warmer, night. And it's, it's already warmer. It's, already, it's warmer, <laughs> that's the truth. We're closer to the lake, that's why. <laughs> There's the first strike of the at bat for Gabe. Two balls and one strike. And that's a defensive right there to Bryce. Hit to Bryce. Three and that's out number three. That was a ground ball to first base. Bryce got it. Stepped on the bag. Got a base runner in that inning, but no harm, no foul. Six nothing still CSP after two. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triplemanufacturing.com. In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. All right, welcome back to Panama where CSP leads. And pitcher this Grant Gustafson, he didn't have a bad inning last inning, so they may be able to rely on him for a little while here. Grant, or uh, Blake got on in the first inning, hit the left field, hit the ball well too. And here's the first pitch, 
And that's a curveball in for a strike. So no balls in one strike to Blake Copta, senior from Climber. That's a ball inside. One ball, no, one ball, one strike. And there's that curveball again. It was awfully close, but just a hair low. So two balls and one strike. There's a swing and a miss on a pitch on the outside part of the plate. Two and two. continues to blow here in Panama as you can probably hear and that's a high fastball for a swing and a miss for Blake and that's the first out of the inning for first out of the inning for Brockton and to your point Pat Gustafson has come in and really stabilized the uh, pitching for for Brockton and and he's you know as we mentioned the CSP's got hitters really top to bottom so He's doing a really nice job as he's come in back in the in the second inning. Well, like you mentioned earlier, to, to just get the ball across the plate in high school and make the hitters hit. Yep. And that's what he's doing exactly. Dylan Michael up for CSP now, behind in the count, no, ball, no balls and one strike. That's a curveball inside. One ball, one strike. Six nothing here, CSP in the top of the third inning. And that's a ball inside, two balls and one strike. Boy, Dylan, that looked awful close to just stand there and let it come <laughs> in. Yeah. Ball outside, three balls and one strike. One out here in the top of the third. And that's a ground ball to second base for Dylan and good throw by the second baseman to get him out. Uh, it's two outs here in the top of the third. Good job by Dylan to get bad on the ball. Yeah, Very least. second baseman, he doesn't seem to get rattled. He no, that's his third, tough, that's tough his fly third balls out, he output today. Yep. He had two fly balls and now a output to first. So it brings Caden Beckering, number nine hitter for CSP, to the plate. And that's a ground ball to the first baseman. Good stop by the first baseman, but he's going to mishandle it, and that's going to be a base hit for Caden Beckering. A tough play by that first baseman. He made a good stop, but the ball got away from him, and Caden Beckerink is one of the fastest kids on uh, the CSP roster. So you got to, if you're going to get him there, you got to, will have needed to uh, field that cleanly. So two outs here, runner on first for CSP, and that's going to bring the top of the order, Austin White, to the plate for his third at bat here in as many innings. And Caden Beckerink's running on first pitch. Good throw by the catcher, and I think, Pat, to be honest with you, he, uh, it was dropped by the second baseman. I, I he agree. was safe, but I think if he would have shown the, I think if the shortstop would have shown that he caught that, he might have been called out. So good, good throw there by uh, Santiago, the catcher. That's a ball in the dirt getting past the catcher and that's going to advance Caden Beckerink to third base. So quickly he went from first to third on two plays here and now puts a runner in scoring position for CSP's leadoff batter Austin White. It's one ball and one strikes when we resume play here.
It'd be nice to get another run in this inning. Or a couple more. And here's the pitch. And that's a second fly baseman. ball to second baseman. And he says, thank you very much. I will take that. And that's a fly out to the second baseman, third of the game. And Brockton goes one, two, three. One, two, three, maybe, I think. I, I forget. But either way, it is three outs. And we're going to go to the uh, bottom of the third here with Bro CSP up 6 nothing. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 989 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back to CSP Wolfpack Baseball here on Channel 98.9. We want to thank, uh, you just heard it, but we want to thank all of our sponsors that have participated in the broadcast this year. It allows us to bring these games to uh, those around uh, the region and around uh, the country, these games that are not able to be here. So we want to thank... Uh, thank our sponsors we're going to be here in the top uh, bottom of the third inning and we got a pitching change which we something that pat and i suspected early on in the uh in the broadcast that gabe would get maybe one or two innings and um you know save him his pitch count for uh friday night but uh, that's going to bring bryce hinsdale we talked about it on monday night csp's got a number of pitchers um, and uh, we saw Austin White, senior Austin White and sophomore Tate Catneys on Monday night and uh, so far today you're going to see senior Gabe Roth and sophomore Bryce Hinsdale. So. I was looking at the clock Kyle, we're already ahead of schedule the other night we were just finishing the first <laughs> inning in this time <laughs> slot that we're in right now. All right, that's going to bring to the to the plate number one Michael Garcia number eight hitter for Brockton in today's lineup. And first pitch is a strike foul ball for uh, Garcia. Bryce ahead early here, no balls and one strike. So Gabe must have went to center field, I'm thinking. Yeah, Gabe went to, and there's another foul ball. Oh, and Blake switched over to first base, okay. Yep, so the move, Move defensively as Bryce to first or Bryce to pitch Blake from center to first and Gabe from pitcher to center. Bryce ahead early 0 and 2 here to Garcia, and there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So three strikes, three pitches, three strikes for Bryce and one out here for CSP. And that's going to bring to the plate number eight Anthony. Cruz, Cruz, I believe. Mm -hmm. And that is a ball that did not get to the plate. So ball number one to Cruz.
High and outside for ball number two. We talked about this last year, but um, when Bryce has a tendency to lose his, um, his rhythm, then that's a ground ball that is short stop to Austin White. Long throw to first, and they got him. Good play by Austin White. Good catch by Blake Copta at first, and that's two outs here in the bottom of the third. And we're back to the top of the order to Aiden Gatto for Brockton. Uh, to just finish my thought, um, when Bryce is out of rhythm, you will um, he'll throw a lot of pitches high and outside uh, to right-handed batters. So um, important for him to stay in the strike zone. And uh, there he goes again with a strike and a foul ball for um, strike number one to Gatto. There's a curveball on the outside. One ball, one strike to Brockton's leadoff. Hitter playing center field today. And there's a hit right back up the middle. And that's a nice piece of hitting for Gatto. And that's a single to center field, getting Brockton their first base runner of the inning. Well hit ball to center field right uh, right over the pitcher's head. Same thing he did last inning. Okay, let's see if we can pick him off now. <laughs> well, it's a little, um, little bit trickier to get a big lead when you've got a lefty on the mound. That's going to bring Ray Santiago, catcher today for Brockton, to the, to the plate. And there's strike number one on the outside part of the plate. No balls in one strike. Again, bottom of the third here. CSP up. Six now. Six zero. Six zero. That ball's in the dirt. Good block by Grant. He's going to throw it down to second. Not in time. Good, good stop behind the plate for... Grant to keep that from going to the backstop. But Brockton, for the first time, has got a runner on second today in scoring position. Oh, that's that a looks very close, Kyle. That's a ball outside. Close. I think it's two balls and one strike here to Santiago. And oh, that's a pop up play. that's going to go out of play. Makes it two balls and two strikes. Let's make sure we get that ball back in play as we're a little sparse today. <laughs> two outs here in the bottom of the third inning. And that's a well-hit ball to left field, and they're going to hold the runner at third. Good job by Kaden, uh, Dylan Michael, excuse me, getting that ball quickly into the infield. But Brockton's got a little action going here in the bottom of the third. It's runners on first and third with two outs. After getting uh, the first two outs of the inning, Brockton's got a little two-out lightning. Number 23, Damian Franklin, comes to the plate. Damian flew out the left field or center field last time. Hit the ball well. And there's a strike on the outside. No balls in one strike. Santiago at first base, base looks relatively athletic. I would not be surprised to see him running here with a guy on third. And that's a foul ball out of play. Price up early, no balls and two strikes. And 
And with two outs, bat on the ball, runners are runners are going to be going. Good stop there by Grant. Santiago steals second, so it's going to be standing up. I don't think CSP would have thrown that ball anyway. But it's now second and third for Brockton here in the bottom of the third inning. Concentrate on the batter now, Bryce, and let's get out of this. Oh. High and outside. Two Good. balls and two strikes. Good waste there, though, Kyle. I think that uh, see if he would reach out and try to get something to right field, but he didn't. Shot. Oh, and that's a shot right back up the middle, and that's going to be a base hit to center field, and, and that's going to score. That's going to score one. Coach for Brockton held the guy at third base, so only one across on that single, but a nice piece of hitting by Damian Franklin. That's gonna bring Caden Emke to the, to the plate. Number four batter for them. I thought Bryce caught that ball, but it went by him very quickly, yep. I think. Right off the tip of the glove. Ball low, one ball, no strikes. You steal this kid again, Kyle? No, nah, I don't know. Ball's in the dirt. Two balls and no strikes. I don't know. When you have your number four batter up, you, you, he's usually going to be a hitter, so yeah. you probably want to keep him tight to the... Oh, they did send him. Yep, and that was a steal and a little play there where uh, instead of throwing it to the second base, he throws it to Trent, who's coming in towards the catcher. Brockton was not fooled at third base. So now again, second and third, two balls and one strike here to Emke. And that's a base uh, ground start. ball to short. Good play and a good scoop. Good play. By Blake Copta to get out of the inning. Not till one run crosses the plate for Brockton, making it six to three, six to one. CSP after three. We'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 989 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at tripleemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Pallet and Wood Services in Climber, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Welcome back to beautiful... Brockton, New York today where it's breezy but the sun is out and it's probably 15 degrees warmer than it was on Monday at this time when we were when we were playing so um, 
But anyways, top of the fourth inning, 6-1 to one CSP over Brockton. And you got to give a lot of credit to Grant Gustafson. He's now come in and uh, two innings held CSP with no runs. And uh, he's really stabilized the, uh, the Brockton pitching. He's going to face the heart of uh, CSP's lineup here. Uh, two, three, four hitters here in the top of the fourth. Yeah, these CSP hitters got to realize he's not throwing real hard, so don't try to don't try to crush the ball. Just make contact with it; it'll fly. I think they're seeing it as a as a bigger ball now because it's coming so slowly and trying yep. to really crush it. Just make contact with it and see what happens with it. All right, Bryce is going to lead us off here in the top of the fourth. Uh, that's a ball inside. One ball, no strikes. I'd like to see him hit it to somebody besides the second baseman. We know he can field the <laughs> we ball. We know he can field the Let's ball. Let's go he's elsewhere a, now. He's had Let's a see. heck of a day in the field, that's for sure. That ball is in the dirt for ball number two. There. That's a ball on the ground to the left-hand side. The third baseman makes a nice play, and he overthrows the first baseman. So Bryce is going to be safe at first. I think he might have beaten out the run either way, but uh, reasonable play there by the third baseman to come over and uh, make that play. He just didn't finish it off by making a good throw to first. It was over the first baseman's head, and uh, so CSP gets the leadoff runner on base. Exactly I what I said, Kyle. Let's try somebody <laughs> else in the field. I was going to say, I think we figured it out here. we got to hit to somebody other than other than the second baseman. I like to give him credit. I, don't, I can't see his number. And like I said, we didn't have a very good roster. So uh, that's a pop-up, and Gabe did not listen to us at all, Pat. And that's the second baseman. He drops it, and Bryce is going to be out at second. And um, I don't know. Pat, you're going to know this way better than I. I'm wondering if that's... Is that infield fly? I, I would think that it should be, but obviously we don't know. No. Nope. So either way, it was pop-up in the infield, dropped by the second baseman who we've been touting all day. <laughs> and uh, Bryce was staying at first because he thought he was going to catch it and uh, ultimately got tagged out or... Which Bryce out. did the correct thing. Yeah, Bryce mm -hmm. did the right thing. So that gets... One out here in the top of the fourth. Gabe at first base, and he's taken off. And he is slides in, and he is safe. Again, good job by the center fielder to back it up because the ball went to center field. And normally on those fly balls, you tell your guy to go halfway, but uh, Bryce couldn't even go halfway because the play was happening right in front of him. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so ball number, ball one to Trent. Uh, now with a guy on second for CSP. And a nice curveball there by Gustafson in for a strike. One ball, one strike to Trent. Steps off the Rubber check on Gabe. Uh, ball, ball in the dirt. That's going to get to the backstop, and that's going to get allow Gabe to easily get to third base. So a stolen base and a pass ball quickly gets you a man at third in scoring position for CSP with one out here in the top of the fourth. And Trent Burchanowski up with a 2-1 count. And ball high to make it 3-1. Doesn't get any easier for Grant Gustafson with Tate Catney's on deck. There's a curveball that's in the dirt. They throw uh, it down the third, and now we've got 
Gabe in a little bit of a pickle. He's tagged out. And now we've got Trent stealing second and now going to third. So tossing the ball around a little bit here. But um, if you're Brockton, positive play there is, is that you got Gabe, the lead runner, from third. He got picked off on the walk. And so instead of first and third with one out, we have third base with two outs. And Tate Catton, he says, up to, the, up to the plate. And Tate looks at a strike one. No balls in one strike. So I think Gabe was a little aggressive on that one. A little Pat. bit, yeah. And ball high. One ball and one strike. Tate with a line drive back to the middle of the center field, his last at bat. And there's that big old curveball in for a strike. One ball and two strikes on Tate. He feels pretty confident throwing that curveball yeah. for a strike. Pat. And he's doing pretty well with it, I yep. think. And that's a ball inside. As we used to say in Little League, we got we got ice for that. <laughs> Take one for the team. <laughs> two balls and two strikes here on Tate. And there's that curveball, and he fouls it off. Good job by Tate there to stay alive. Still two balls and two strikes. And that's a foul tip caught by the catcher for out number three. So no runs in the top part of the fourth inning. That's three straight innings of CSP scoring zero runs and keeping Brockton in the, in the ball game. So with that, we will be right back. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack! From Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Half of the fourth inning, Bryce Sinsdale in uh, pitching for CSP, coming in for relief of Gabe Roth after two strong innings. And Brockton's going to bring number 24, so there are going to be five, six, seven hitters here for Brockton in the bottom of the fourth. Austin McIntyre at bat. Austin McIntyre was hit by a pitch the first time he was at bat. Ball low in the dirt for the first pitch. One ball, no strikes on McIntyre. There's a 
ball outside. Two balls and no strikes. Bryce having a little difficulty here finding the strike zone. This is not uncommon for him, to be honest with you. And that's a ball outside. Three balls and no strikes. And he had the green light on 3-0. and oh, Probably swung at the fourth ball. I don't know about well. looking at the coach. I don't know if he truly did have the green light. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Three balls and one strike here to McIntyre. And that ball is high and outside. Bryce looking at his gloves like his glove had something to do with that. But we now have Brockton has leadoff runner at first after a walk. And that's going to bring to the plate number 26, Grant Gustafson. Brockton's pitcher who's done a really nice job coming in in relief of Emke. And that's a ground, soft ground ball to shortstop. Austin has a little trouble with it and goes nowhere. So we've got runners at first and second for Brockton here in the bottom of the fourth. And number nine, Matt Laredo for Brockton steps into the box. 6-1 CSP here in the bottom of the fourth. No outs, Brockton runners on first and second. That ball's inside for ball one. And there's a foul tip. One ball, one strike. And as you can hear, the wind continues to blow here in Brockton. And there's a base hit or ground ball to second. They get the lead, second uh, guy from first to second. For one out, and that's going to leave first and third for Brockton with one out. Good play by Trent, Austin covering. That's going to bring number one, Michael Gar Garcia, to the plate. And they just picked off that kid at first. Got to watch home. And now they might. Now they got a little pickle here with the guy at third. And Bryce tags him at first. And, or tags him at third. We got all kinds of things going on. Wow. For a play-by-play -play man that's not experienced, this is. <laughs> Gabe came in from center field to Gabe. try to get the guy at second. Yep. So the guy that uh, the guy from first who originally got picked off uh, has made his way to second, and uh, more importantly, CSP was able to get the lead runner in uh, into a pickle, and uh, Bryce was able to tag him out. So long story, two outs here in the bottom of the fourth, and that's a little dribbler the catch pitcher and Blake catches it and tags him out so what looked to be a very dangerous inning for Brockton turned into uh, no runs across the board and it's still 6-1 CSP after four. Funding for this broadcast on the channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. 
Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800 295 4282 or online. All stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer as we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off and on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Welcome back, baseball fans, to Brockton, New York, where CSP leads... Brockton 6-1 to one in the uh, now top of the fifth inning. Uh, Grant Lictus is going to lead off for CSP, so it'll be six, seven, eight hitters here in uh, the fifth inning for CSP facing Grant Gustafson, who came in relief in the second inning and has... Pitched a scoreless second, third, and fourth inning. And there's a ball high and outside for ball one to Grant. Grant's been putting the bat on the ball, so we need to start doing that here shortly. Yeah, after the first inning, Pat. We've, we've scored five in the first and one in the second and have not really even threatened much since then. No, we think. haven't. There's a curveball that on the outside part of the plate, two balls and no strikes. Yeah, this young man's come in and done a very nice job for them. And there's a pitch high that looked awfully good to Grant. He took a big swing at it with no luck. So two balls and one strike. And there's the same pitch, and Grant laid off of that one <laughs> for a ball. So three balls and one strike. If you're watching us on Facebook Live, I would encourage you to drop us a comment on where you're watching us from. And that's ball four, so CSP gets the leadoff runner on here in the top of the fifth with Grant Lictus, and that's going to bring Blake Cope to to the plate. Coach Moreno wants to call time. Wonder if maybe we're gonna have a pinch runner maybe? I'm thinking that's what's happening here. Yep. Drake DiDomenico is gonna be a pinch runner for, uh, for Grant. Grant's loving it. <laughs> Gets him to be able to get back in the dugout and get his equipment on <laughs> yep. it. <laughs> Grant's a lot of things, but having a lot of speed is not one of them. <laughs> and I can speak because uh, I didn't either. Well, and a catcher likes to have his gear on ready to go when it's time to go. <laughs> All right, Blake up to bat with no outs here in the top of the fifth and we got pinch runner Drake DiDomenico with some speed at first base yep. and the pitcher's really worried about it too draw a couple of throws over there maybe we can get a pass ball over there and he's really worried he must have thought we substituted Ricky Henderson in. <laughs> and that's a ball outside and 
That was awfully close. That, uh, Santiago attempted to pick off Drake at first base, and he almost got him. He almost did, but that ball went past the first baseman, which was helpful for Drake. That'll open up his eyes. Now he'll be more <laughs> aware of what's going on, I think. I think that surprised all of us. Yes, it did. All right, first pitch was a ball, so one ball, no strikes. And Blake swings at pitch number two, swing and a miss for a strike. One ball, one strike. Drake with a good lead at first base. And there he goes. He's going to take off, and he's going to get down, and he's going to slide in for Safe. For a stolen base, so Drake DiDomenico with a head first slide into second. Stolen base number one for Drake on the year. Is that scoreboard incorrect or is it is there two strikes? One ball, two strikes? One and two. One okay. and two. Yeah, so the scoreboard doesn't have the huh. ball up there. Heck, that's the first time I've seen that scoreboard oh. on it. I didn't even know there was a scoreboard over well, there. Well, you learned something now. Yeah. Ah, oh, there's swing and a miss for strike three. So Gustafson gets Blake down on swinging, and that is out number one here in the bottom or top of the fifth. And that's going to bring Dylan Michael, CSP's number eight hitter, to the plate. And there's a line base drive hit. to right field, and that's going to be a base hit for Dylan. He scored, oh, He's going Drake. to round one. Drake fell down at third. And Drake fell down as he was rounding third base. So he's going to stay at third. Dylan Michael with a nice base hit down the right field line. So now CSP with one out has runners at first and third. That was a good piece of hitting right there. That oh. was. Caden Beckering now to the plate for CSP. And I believe that's a balk. Balk. That's a balk, so Drake ultimately ends up getting across the plate. And that's going to get Dylan Michael to second base. I didn't see it, Pat. I don't know if you saw it. But no. Either way, the, the um, most important person saw it, which is the umpire. So He didn't hesitate to call it either. So. Nope. And there's that high pitch that Caden Beckrink really likes, and he swung just underneath it. So no balls in one strike. Runner on second here for CSP. And there's a hit to the shortstop. And he's going to catch it and tag second for a double play. And that's going to end what could have been a threatening inning for CSP we did get uh, one. with uh, just one run across on the box. So it's 7-1 CSP, and we'll be right back. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. 
This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Clymer. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Welcome back to Channel 98.9 broadcasts of your CSP Wolfpack Baseball. I'm Kyle Hinsdale, joined by Pat Catneys and CSP with a comfortable 7-1 to one lead here in the bottom of the fifth. CSP is going to face hitters 9, 1, and 2 for Brockton. As they look to get some base runners and generate uh, generate some runs. On Monday night at 6:30, I think we were in the second inning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. And the sun is. We were covered by shade and a lot colder than we are right now. <laughs> All right, Bryce needs to start out hot. So here Anthony Cruz steps into the box to face CSP pitcher Bryce Hinsdale. Nice and that's pitch. a little nubbler right to the second base. He's going to throw it over to first and record a quick one pitch, one out for CSP. Just that's going to bring a uh, leadoff hitter. Aiden Gatto, who has, uh, I think he's two for two today. With been on two, base every time he's been up. Two well-hit balls to uh, center field right back up the middle. So he's been one of the most productive hitters for Brockton today. And that's a swing and a miss for strike one on a ball on the outside part of the plate. He scored their lone run in the third inning. Got on. Got and a really quickly. nice curveball there by Bryce sneaking it in on the back door. So he's up early on Gatto. No balls and two strikes. And there's another oh, nice pitch. Curveball right there that catches the outside part of the plate for strike number three. So two batters, two outs here in the bottom of the fifth. And Catcher Ray Santiago is going to step into the box for uh, for Brockton. He's had a base hit today, also. And Bryce went back to the well there with that curveball and was a little, a little low. A little low. Ball number one. And there's oh, that a strike. Like a strike right that there. Did look like a strike, but that uh, that was low for ball two. Two balls and no strikes here in the bottom bottom of the fifth. Seven to one, CSP. Two outs for Brockton. No runners on. And that's a ball hit hard to oh. third base and landed right on that grass to dirt spot. And Tate had a little trouble playing it. And that's going to be a base hit for Santiago. And it's going to bring number 23, Damian Franklin. Maybe it's Damon Franklin. In so my book, I scored that at his E5, <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was probably going to be the case. <laughs> get up there and charge that ball and get it. Yeah, for those watching on TV, where the where the grass and the dirt meet in the infield, uh, ball hit right on that crack and uh, kind of came off a little funny. That's a base. That's a ball f fly to sh right field. Caden Beckering gets underneath it, but is unable to catch it. So that's going to be a base hit for. Brockton, and that's going to be now first and second. First and second for Brockton, and 
Number 16, Kay Nemke, your starting pitcher for Brockton today, is going to get into the box. And that's a base hit right oh. at Austin. Line drive, catch for out number three. Nice job by Austin. Right place, right time. I'm not even sure he even moved, Pat. No, but, I don't uh, think he did. Good, uh, nice contact there by Emke. Just went right at Austin. So no runs there in the fifth inning for Brockton. And so we're going to head to the sixth inning. CSP up 7-1. to one. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, for industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at tripleemanufacturing.com. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance. With offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown, J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Coverage of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is brought to you in part by Catholic Paladin Wood Services in Climber, a leading provider of new heat-treated and recycled pallets and wood services since 1993. Find them online at CatholicPallet.com. Phone 716-355-4354. Catholic Pallet and Wood Services wishes the Wolfpack the best of luck this season. Welcome back to CSP Baseball here on Channel 98.9 where CSP leads Brockton 7-1 to in the top of the sixth. CSP is going to come to the plate here in the sixth with the top of their order. And they're going to face Grant Gustafson who came in for relief during the second in, in the second inning and has pitched a really nice game for... Uh, for Brockton. So Austin White's going to lead us off here in the sixth. Now all these CSP hitters have seen him at least twice now, so they should be able to draw a good bead on him and know what he's going to do. Yep, that's right, Pat. You know, they know he's going to, he's got that curveball, but sit back and let that come to you. You can hit it. And you, you pointed it out a couple times. He doesn't throw hard. He just has the, the curveball is a good curveball. Yes. And um, and he has good placement. And I think you've got an overly aggressive CSP at ba you know batters. Yes. Yep. So that first pitch is a ball to Austin White, so one ball, no strikes. And there's a strike right down the middle of the plate for strike number one. And ball low and outside for ball number two. If you're Brockton thinking about trying to get back into this game, it's going to be important uh, to hold CSP to no runs here in the in the sixth and give yourself a chance as you come come to bat in the bottom of the sixth. And that's three three pitches and three ball or I'm sorry three balls and one strike uh, to Austin. And there's strike number two right at the letters. So full count to CSP leadoff hitter Austin White. And that's a little fly ball to left field. That may be trouble, but no, that's a great catch by the shortstop playing that short left field area. And he made a nice backhanded catch for out number one here in the in the sixth inning. 
Nice job by Austin. He held back on that. that was a curveball, Pat. Yep. He held back on that curveball and made contact, but a really nice play showed the range of the the uh, of the shortstop there. That's going to bring Brace Hinsdale to the plate. Uh, first pitch was a strike, so no balls and one strike to Brace. Ball high and outside for ball one. One and one. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was a curveball that they called a strike on the outside. So that's one ball and two strikes. That would have been tough to hit that ball. Yeah. I don't know if it made it back in to go over top of the plate or not. Same thing there. Foul tip off the shoe, off the foot. That's going to sting for a little bit. Right off the inside part of the toe. Oh, they're taking Gustafson out. He pitched a great game. Yes, he did. Must be his count was up or something. Yeah, that would be my guess, but... Really nice job by Grant Gustafson today. He should be proud of the way he pitched. He did a great job, and so coach gonna coach is gonna make a change and go with number four, Aiden Grotto. While we uh, get through warm-up pitches, we'll take a quick break and pay some bills. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. Support for Wolfpack Baseball coverage on the Channel 98.9 Sports Stream is provided by Countertop Solutions and Climber. Go Wolfpack! From Countertop Solutions. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Linquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber. Online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. Welcome back after a uh, Brockton coach went to the bullpen and is calling on number four. Aiden Gatto to replace uh, Grant Gustafson, who had a heck of a game today, and uh, that's a ball outside. Looks like we got another curveball thrower here, Kyle. Yeah. Same and thing. And two balls and two strikes to Bryce here. And there's a strike foul tip, I think, and. Strikeout for Bryce, and so that's going to get us two outs here in the top of the six, and that's going to bring Gabe Roth, number four in your program, is going to bring Gabe Roth to the plate. Gabe's been struggling today. He's flown out to the second baseman a couple times, I believe. And there's a big curveball low and outside for ball one to Gabe. And there's a, there's a line base. drive yep. to the third baseman. is too hot for him to handle. And that ball gets ultimately out to left field for a nice base hit for Gabe Roth. So a little two-out lightning hopefully here for CSP as Gabe gets first base, and it's going to bring Trent Burchanowski to the plate. And I would imagine Gabe is going to be very aggressive on the base pads. He's aggressive to begin with. But <laughs> in this situation, I could see him being a high curveball out of the zone for ball one to Trent. 
Top of the six, two outs, six to seven to one, CSP with runner on first base and Trent Burchanowski at the plate. Throw over, check on Gabe. He's safe. And there they check again. Eventually that ball is going to end up in right field. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope for that. <laughs> and there's Trent. Trent taking a heck of a swing at that and missing for strike one. One ball and one strike. He has never cheated in no, that box. If he would have made contact with that, there's not enough property here. <laughs> that ball wouldn't. Place one to hell it. Gabe with a good lead at first. That's. I just noticed that deep center field's 380. That's a good hit. That's a good strike. Yeah, you got to get. Yeah. You got to get all of it. You're not going to do that today with that wind blowing in. No. Nope. No. Nope. Two balls and one strike to Trent Burchanowski. And there goes Gabe, and the throw down to second is not going to be in time. And Gabe with his, I believe, second stolen base of the day and immediately puts runner in scoring position for CSP with two outs here. Two balls, two strikes to Trent. And that's a high fly ball to center field, well hit. Center fielder is underneath it, and he drops it. And that's going to be a stand-up double for Trent, and Gabe Roth is going to trot across home plate to make it 8-1 to one CSP. That's nice to have a little insurance run there. Yep. Hopefully Tate can get the bat on the ball here and get, get Trent scored. That was a high fly ball, Pat. Yeah, I think he... Center fielder struggled a little bit with. That right fielder took off after, and then he realized it was blowing it away from him. The center fielder found it, but he got a glove on it. Yeah, and uh, first pitch for to Tate Catney's is a curveball in for a strike. So, no balls in one strike. Working quickly, Gatto here with ball no number one. One ball, one strike. Foul tip right back at us. One ball, two strikes. Tate's got to protect a little bit now. And that's a pass ball. Swing and a miss. And he throws him out at first base. Ah. That'll end the inning for CSP, but not until we get one across the board to make it 8-1 to one CSP, and we'll be right back. Funding for this broadcast on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by J. Edwards Insurance, with offices at 9 East Main Street in Panama and 800 West 3rd Street in Jamestown. J. Edwards Insurance is an independent insurance service providing auto, business, farm, and homeowners insurance. We treat you like family. Online at jedwardsinsurance.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack this season from J. Edwards Insurance, serving New York and Pennsylvania since 1957. Support for coverage of CSP Baseball on the Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided by Triple E Manufacturing in Sherman. Triple E offers equine products, promotional items, embroidery, and printing services. 800-295-4282 or online at triple emanufacturing.com. 
In baseball, these are the moments that bring us to our feet. But the most important moment happens when we all stand together. United for a great cause. So join Major League Baseball and stand up to cancer. As we stand in honor of all loved ones affected by this disease. I'm Jordana Brewster. I'm Candace Patton. Joe Manganiello. I'm Matt Damon. And cancer has in some way touched all of us. Visit standuptocancer.org slash MLB. Stand up with us. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane in Clymer. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Dream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. And we're back here for... Wednesday evening CSP baseball in Brockton, New York. CSP up 8-1 to one on the Brockton Bulldogs as we start the bottom of the sixth inning. Same defensive uh, structure for CSP and Bryce Hinsdale still on the mound. I think we have a new new batter in there, Kyle. Number 15. I don't think we have him on our Number our list. 15 is... Pool, Pearl, Pryle. 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 We're just going to, he's got one name, Pryle. We don't have a first name. But that is going to be a foul ball. Good job by Bryce swiping that thing out of play. Because who knows, it may have spun back in. And yep. It was r riding that white line and got foul, and Bryce <laughs> hit it away. So Bryce up early here on Pryle. No balls and two strikes. And it's a pop-up that is out of play. Onto the tennis court. We're going to need that one back. Good job by Pryle fighting that off. Staying alive. Still no balls and two strikes. Ball in the dirt for ball one. Good stop by Grant Lictus behind the plate. Good wasted pitch there for Bryce. And that's a fly ball, short fly ball to short stop. And Austin White makes the catch for out number one here in the top of the sixth. Ball was hit kind of off the end of the bat. A little nubber fly ball to... I think we have another Austin. new one here, do we? No, 26, I think, is Gustafson. Oh, true, you're right. Grant Gustafson. I've noticed, though, from, even from Monday night to tonight, that Grant seems a lot more comfortable behind the plate. Yes, he does, for sure. And there's a curveball in for a strike. For strike number one. Well, you, you know, Pat, we talked about it the other Monday night. Grant was out most of last year injured. Uh, and we had a we had a uh, an all-star catcher in Micah Willink behind the plate, so really didn't see a ton of time last year. And uh, so this will this is good good experience for for Grant uh, as we get into the heart of the of this of the season. Foul tip for. And that's nice that we're getting all the pitchers in, too, to get them used to Grant, too, yeah. and Grant used to them. Well, and to be honest with you, in my conversations with Bryce, um, the pitchers, because of the weather being as bad as it has been and now, now it being nice, that's strike number three to Gustafson. So for Bryce, first strikeout of this inning and uh, quick two outs. Uh, but what I was commenting on is, is I don't think they've had a ton of practice pad outside. No, I don't think uh, they've been on a mound. I don't think to throw, that yeah. many of the pitchers have even been on a mound. So um, there's a curveball for a swing and a uh, foul ball. So Bryce ahead early here, no balls and one strike. And this is Nate. Lariano, number nine in your program today. Number one in his mother's heart. Yeah, going back to your point though, Kyle, you know, you can practice all you want inside, but still throwing off a wooden hill 
you know, and inside is a lot yep. different, with, especially with something like today with this wind, and it makes you think about what you're doing a little bit more. But on the other hand, for a catcher to try to catch a ball in the indoors on a on a gym floor, it yep. really has a good, you know, good hard jump too. So. Uh, ball low. I'd really like to see Bryce stay on a low pitch count here so he could finish this game out. Yep. Two balls and one strike. Uh, there's there's Trent. A ground ball to Trent at second base. He throws it over to Blake, and that's a well-executed ground ball out at first base. No runs for Brockton there in the bottom half of the sixth inning, and so we're going to head to the seventh inning, the final inning of the night, with CSP up 8-1. to one. We'll be right back after these messages. Funding for this Channel 98.9 Sports Dream broadcast comes from Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber. Family-owned Lictus Oil and Propane continues to supply liquids and fluids for agriculture, industry, and homeowners. Heating oil and propane services and off-and-on diesel fuel services are also offered. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks Lictus Oil and Propane for their continued support. This Wolfpack broadcast is brought to you in part by Cornerstone Restaurant and Bakery at 104 East Main Street in Sherman. The Cornerstone offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and baked goods. The phone number is 716-234-4002, or find them on Facebook. The Channel 98.9 Sports Stream thanks the Cornerstone in Sherman for their support. Support for CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream is provided in part by Climber Hardware and Home Center. Serving the Climber area since 1873 with all your hardware needs at 8746 West Main Street and online at ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com. Best of luck to the Wolfpack from Climber Hardware and Home Center. This broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball is provided by Land Pro Equipment, the area's authorized John Deere dealer, located at 1756 Lindquist Drive, Faulkner, and 8926 West Main Street in Climber, online at landproequip.com. They specialize in agriculture, lawn and garden, and light industrial equipment. The Channel 98.9 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream thanks Land Pro Equipment for their support. And welcome back to Brockton, New York, where CSP is leading 8-1 to one over the Brockton Bulldogs in their second game of the year. This is a game of uh, two 1-0 teams. So uh, one of these teams is going to end up having with their first loss of the year. And uh, so we enter the top of the seventh inning. It's going to be batters six, seven, and eight for CSP, and Grant Lictus is going to uh, lead us off. Aiden Gatto still on the mound for Brockton today. And that's a swing and a miss for strike one for Grant. Grant was a little amped up on that one. That ball was low and out of the strike zone a little. And there's a ball in the dirt that he held off on. One ball and one strike. Big curveball worked its that, way back into the strike curve zone. Curveball didn't make, make its Ooh. way back in. So one ball and two strikes to Grant. Now he's got to protect a little here. Yeah, that's a fastball on the outside part of the plate that was just outside. So two balls and two strikes. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. So Gatto with his first strikeout of the afternoon. And it's out number one here in the top of the seventh. It's going to bring number eight, Blake Copta, to the plate for CSP. Low and outside. Good eye there by Blake. Ball number one. 
Blake seems really relaxed in the batter's box to me. He doesn't seem to. There's yeah. that curveball again. Yep. Curveball in for a strike. It does one stay ball. out there a long time, and then it dives back in. Yep, one ball and one strike to Blake Copta. And that's a pop-up that's right in the middle of the field. It's center short second baseman calling it off, and he misplays it, and that's going to be an E4 there for Brockton. I'll tell you, that second baseman has had a lot of activity today. And that's some, his first some, mishap right there, I yep, believe. Yep. But either way, Blake's going to end up at first, and we're going to have a pinch runner for Blake. I think that's Tanner Mahako. When he was younger and uh, he and Bryce would hang out, I called him Tanner Mahako Taco. <laughs> so I'll just... I'll stop at Mahako now. I gotta believe he's got pretty good wheels. Yes, I would think so. So we got um, Dylan Michael up to the plate. He's a f swinging at the first pitch. That's a slow gr roller to third. Long throw. Oh, good hustle and Dylan by Dylan. Beats it out. To safe at first. Good hustle there by Dylan Michael. And we got a little uh, two out lightning here. One out lightning. One, I mean, out, yeah, lightning, one yeah. out one out lightning with runners on first and second. And Caden Beckering, CSP's number nine hitter coming to the plate. That's a ball outside. One ball, no strikes. Umpire calls time. Looks like we got some equipment challenge with the uh, Catcher? Catcher. Either that or he got some, he's rubbing his eye. I'm wondering if he got some dirt in his eye. Well, he's right down there in the zone where that dust is flying constantly. Yep. That curveball is in the dirt. Great job by Sandy Santiago to stop that ball from going to the backstop. Keeps the runners for CSP at first and second. Ball high. Three and all. Three balls and no strikes. Caden had the uh, red light there and watched strike number one. So now he's got the green light. Three balls and one strike. Runners on first and second. And he's up there swinging. And that's a foul ball. That is a foul ball. Three balls and two strikes to Caden Beckerink. <coughs> 8-1 CSP here in the top of the seventh inning. <coughs> One out. Runners on second and third. First and second, excuse me. Ball outside for ball four. That's going to load the bases for CSP and get to the top of the order. Austin White at bat for CSP. If you're Brockton here, you want to try to can limit the, the, the damage here. And base that's hit. a base hit right up the middle. That's going to get to center field. That's going to score at least run, one run. Tanner Mahako scores. Here's the play at the plate. And Dylan Michael's going to score. So that's a two-run double for Austin White. And that's going to make the score 10-1. to one. CSP. With runners at first and second. 
And Bray Sinsdale is going to step into the box. Curve ball on the outside, ball one. One ball, no strikes to Bryce. Lots of speed on the bases with Caden Beckerink on second, Austin White on first. High and inside, ball two. Yeah, that's a ball low and inside, ball three, second straight batter. Or excuse me, two out of the last three batters that he's gone three and zero on. I would imagine Bryce has got the stop sign here and doesn't need it because that ball's in the dirt for ball four. And catcher thought didn't know the count, thought he was stealing, threw it down to third. And to be honest with you, it was a heck of a play by the third baseman to block it. That gets that ball's a live ball. It gets by. Third baseman and Caden Beckerink's definitely scoring. Yep. So, yep. all right, bases loaded again. One now out. for Gabe Roth with one out. There's a curveball in the dirt. Good stop by Santiago. Done a nice job behind the plate for Brockton tonight. He's earned his money back there today. That's for yep. sure. He's been busy. And Gabe held off on that one, that high fastball. Two balls and no strikes. Gatto's got no place to put him, so he's got to throw strikes here to him, make him a hitter. And there's a strike there. Gabe was right, wondering what he meant by that. Right above the, uh, <laughs> right at the letters. So two balls and one strike to Gabe Roth, senior from Panama. And that's a foul ball. That's and that might have hit a car, Pat. Hopefully not mine. Mine either. Or yours. Yeah. Maybe it stayed in the tennis courts. Two balls and two strikes to Gabe Roth. Bases loaded for CSP here with one out. And Gabe waits on that, and he hits a hard ground ball to right field. That's going to score. Caden Beckerink, hard hit single for Gabe Roth, and it's going to make it 11 to 1. Should be the end. CSP. What is it? Is it a 10 run? Yeah, but I think they have to let them. They have to let them hit. No. Yeah, it's over. Oh. And for the second straight game, CSP. Ends the game short with the 10 run rule. CSP beats Brockton today 11 to one with a uh, three run top of the seventh inning for CSP. Uh, well played game by both teams, relatively uh, quick. And uh, again, the hitting, the hitting comes into play for CSP didn't play all that well defensively, I thought, but uh, hit the ball uh, really well uh, and uh, looked good doing it in their new uniforms. I do like the new uniforms, and yes, they they uh, they hit, they had some times when they weren't hitting the ball very hard. There were a lot of infield hits today, a lot of uh, fly balls to the infield, but uh, I think, like I talked earlier, I think they were trying to overpower that slow, slower pitching. Yep. You know, just let that ball come to you and then, and then hit it. So. So CSP now starts the season 2-0, uh, which is a good start. And uh, we'll have a big matchup Friday night uh, in Climber, I believe, Correct. against yep. Maple Grove. Um, and I believe that's a, um, I don't know if that's a 445 or 5 o'clock start, but either way, uh, tune in to uh, our Facebook page, you'll be able to get all the details for the next game, but we know it's Friday, we know the weather's supposed to be beautiful, and we know it's in Climber against Maple Grove, and Maple Grove always has a good program, and uh, should be a heck of a heck of a game, and uh, it'll put be, really be the first test for uh, CSP this year against a you know real formidable 
formidable uh, opponent. Yeah, I believe they're very stout. They, I think they have good pitching and uh, good good fielding, and, and Maple Grove always hits the ball well. Yep, yep. All right, well, for Pat Catanese, I'm Kyle Hinsdale. Uh, CSP starts the year off 2-0 and with a 11-1 to win here in uh, Brockton, New York. Uh, thank you for listening here on Channel 98.9, and we will see everyone Friday night. Thank you. Thanks for listening to this broadcast of CSP Wolfpack Baseball on the Channel 989 Lictus Oil and Propane Sports Stream at channel989.org. This broadcast is presented by J. Edwards Insurance in Panama and Jamestown, Mosier Carpeting and Climber, Land Pro Equipment and Climber and Falconer, Calfish Pallet and Wood Services in Climber, The Cornerstone Restaurant in Sherman, ClimberHardwareAndHomeCenter.com, Triple E Manufacturing, Triple E MFG.com, Countertop Solutions, and by Lictus Oil and Propane and Climber, LictusOilandPropane.com. Tune in next time for all the action of CSP Wolfpack Baseball. Okay, we're out. <laughs>